Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to look at the Microsoft Software Repair Tool. Now, I was a little confused as to what it did. Ran it for you to let you know what it did and I don't know what it does. Basically it's designed, if you're wondering, to fix most Microsoft Surface, the entire line of Surface laptops and to repair most common problems typically before you call Microsoft or bring it to a Microsoft store. So that's its main goal. However, it does work with Windows 10 and Windows 8 because frankly, there's no difference between the laptop, desktop, Windows 10, Windows 8. So we're going to run this. It's portable. We're going to click this and it's going to start up just like this. It does warn you that at some point that you should do a restore point. If you don't know how, hit your Windows key followed by S. That'll bring up search, the Windows key and S. That will allow you to type restore as you go, create a restore point. That will pop up. Mine is off. You'll see that a couple times during this video that my restore point is off. You'll come right down here where this window will open for you and go right here and click create. All right, so let's hit next. Restore is off. As I said, you'll see that along here. Now what it's going to do is going to check some basic stuff, date, time, default settings, check your apps for problems. These are some of the things that it fixes. I managed to, let's find it, pull a log from the first time I ran this uh, back, looks like about 10 days ago. As you can see, it's not really for the geek, but the end user. And you can see in here, it doesn't really give you a lot of information. It's going to check your time. It's going to do quite a bit here with the internet. It's going to reset Winsock. It's going to check your IP config. It's going to flush your cache, etc. So there you go. Then it's going to go into making sure that Windows Update Services is started, kind of common after a malware infection. So this could fix, if you removed some sort of virus or malware, this could fix some problems that were not fixed. So we have our errors, okay? <laughs> and as you can see, it's running a bunch of scripts, system health, repair system corruption, trying to fix all these different little things. So it, it handles a few things in there. It's not exactly... Uh, tweaking.com's window repair but it's much simpler to use for just the basics so as you can see we're going a little farther down it's going to pop the star open make sure the store is working fine it is in the background of course and as you can see most important it's going to check for your windows update to make sure that you have all your windows updates it's going to download those updates and there you go so that's your log file just to give you an idea of a few things it does because it is a little confusing so and we're still going over here repairing updating it wants us to restart so let's do that real quick it should only take a second or two to restart and once we do it's going to actually come back up and start looking at a few other things nothing too major it's basically going to try i think it checks apps after this we'll see here in just a minute as you can see again it's a clean install my computer tends to run really really fast so it uh yours will probably run a little bit slower on average just because you're not going to be sitting here with a brand new clean install if you did you probably weren't having any problems so there's the windows update you could tell them the date and time are right it's actually not which is kind of ironic because it's clean install so it's actually just all i have here is since i i just installed windows as always it's got Pacific time by default so I can fix that myself but you think it might notice but apparently for all the telemetry it has involved somehow it doesn't know that I'm in the Eastern time zone so we can click that we can install the Windows updates takes a minute and once that's done you will once again do a final restart now once it finished doing the updates it did everything so we're going to restart now you can look at the log file I don't remember if the log file was created or I saved it I think I saved it when I was done before so we could just take a look at it. So let's do a uh, restart here and bring Windows back up and that should be it. Now once again, just so we can cover the basics, if you are having internet issues, your Windows Defender isn't updating, your Windows updates aren't updating, if you have a few app problems and you're not feeling, you're not a techie, you don't have anybody on hand, you're thinking about calling Microsoft support, this might just fix your problem and we're almost done here get out of your hair so once again since the app is portable as you can see we're done there's nothing going on it didn't start back up to say life's good if you saved or viewed the, re the log again I'm not sure 
then you can just click on it and delete it. Same with this because there is no installation. That's what portable applications are. There was no install. You don't have to go into add, remove programs. You simply come in here and once you delete it, it is gone and you don't have to worry about it. And hopefully you had some minor problem and it fixed it for you. If it did, please click subscribe. If it didn't help you, please click subscribe. It's not my fault. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.